a small child possesses an imaginative skill superior to that of adults. A child responds to the game of kissing away a hurt or throwing away a fear. This simple process works for the child because in his mind he believes that that is actually the end of it. The dramatic act is a fact for him, and so it proves to be the end of a matter. Visualize your fears as being drained out of your mind, and the visualization will in due course be activated. Imagination is a source of fear, but imagination may also be the cure of fear. Imagineering is the use of mental images to build factual results, and it is an astonishingly effective procedure. Imagination is not simply the use of the fancy. The word imagination derives from the idea of imaging. That is to say, you form an image either of fear or release from your fear. What you image may ultimately become a fact if held mentally with sufficient faith. Therefore, hold an image of yourself as delivered from worry, and the drainage process will in time eliminate abnormal fear from your thoughts. However, it is not enough to empty the mind, for the mind will not long remain empty. It must be occupied by something. It cannot continue in a state of vacuum. Therefore, upon emptying the mind, practice refilling it. Fill it with thoughts of faith, hope, courage, expectancy. Say aloud such affirmations as, I'm filling my mind with courage. I'm filling my mind with peace. I'm filling my mind with calm assurance. Faith is the one power against which fear cannot stand. Fill your mind with faith and in due course, the acclamation of faith will crowd out fear. Learn to be a practitioner of faith until you become an expert in faith. Then fear can no longer live within you.